Well, it's the last Wednesday of December, but I'm still keeping with the Christmas theme because I just don't wanna let it go. New Year's is coming, I know, but I just love Christmas. Okay, so the last Wednesday of each month, I take a question from one of you. So this one comes from Facebook from Jay. Jay Lawrence, great name. Uh, I'm getting married next year and I'm looking for a new job after being laid off. So how can I start a legacy for my future bride and family in the meantime? Well, Jay, that's a really great question, a very mature question to ask. First, I would say there's kind of two types of legacies that you leave. You know, you leave the legacy of being able to financially leave a legacy, you could say. So that would be things like starting the baby steps, getting out of debt, getting an emergency fund, start funding your retirement, those kinds of things. Uh, you can find the baby steps on this vlog, um, some vlogs back, so you can watch that. But there's also a legacy too of, uh, of not tangible, a, not, a non tangible legacy. So things like what you're passing on for um, character and integrity and work ethic. I mean, those kinds of things are, is a huge legacy to leave. And so I think starting off those two things and building that foundation uh, for you and your future wife, and you don't have kids yet, but once you start having kids, that will be into full swing by the time they come. So I think those are some great ways to start leaving a legacy today. A lot of it will be prepping for the future more so than something you're gonna do exactly right this moment. But the fact that it's even in your mind, Jay, I'm encouraged that there's people like you in America. So thanks for asking the question and for all of you that have questions, hashtag AskRachel on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook here on YouTube. And we are searching those hashtags and find a question for January. So enjoy the new year. Happy new year.